Report live from beautiful Northwest Florida, and that's Pensacola, Florida. If you do not know, welcome to my channel, Melly Mel Shades. If you guys like traditional wet shaving, men's fragrances, and giveaways, hey, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. This episode, I was going to shave with a razor and a brush that I haven't used in quite some time. Anyway, it is... Hashtag, it's been a wild week in the Canadian Mafia Show IG page. And also it is hashtag Kill Some Week in BBS.live on IG. In which we will be, I will be using a Kill Soap, a soap that, it, that I have in my possession that is almost finished. Anyway, I can't wait. Stay tuned. Back, so let me tell you what shave gear I'm going to be using. I'm going to be rocking with my Kill Soap. This is the C4C Spice Lime. I'll be rocking with that one. That one's almost finished. Along with the matchy matchy of that aftershave splash. Love this. And this is my favorite lime scented soap at the moment. And of course I'm rocking with the Cayune Bowl. Love this boy. You can get this on Etsy at Cayenne Bones. He is from Southern Louisiana. And the brush that I haven't used in quite some time, I want to say it's been about a year since I used this one. This is the Sum Making Required by Philip. I call him P Money. Love. I wish he could. He's been super busy and supposedly he's supposed to be back to making brushes. Anyway, this is a beautiful brush made by him some making required love that pour and this is a 26 millimeter i can't remember the badger brush but this one is amazing can't wait to use this one and for the razor i'm gonna be rocking with a modern day artist club single edge razor i'm gonna be rocking with the cobra classic this is a special one to me because this was back, I uh, got this from a fellow wet sharer back in 2012. And just recently, back in 2020, I got it Rodan plated. It's Rodan plated, Rodan plated by Razor Emporium. They did a pretty good job on it. And like I said, it's been a while since I used I want to say it's been over a year since I actually used this. Love this. Well, I love the looks of this razor. And from my understanding, it still shaves pretty good. I'm sure it will. But love the looks of this razor. Love it. Um, Classic shaving company, I believe, out there in California. I reached out to them a couple of times and they never answer their emails. I don't know what's going on with their email responses, but I asked them if they will be making the Cobra Classic in the future. And every time I email them, they never respond. I don't get it. But anyway, those that is going to be my shave gear of choice. Anyway, see you in a bit. All right, I am back. And all lathered up. Hope this video finds you and your family as well. Comment below if you are watching. Let me know what what is your what is your shave gear of the day. I would love to hear from you. You know me. I love to I love to interact with you guys. Comment below your uh, shave gear of the day as you are watching this video. And again, this is uh, hashtag Kill Soap Week on BBS Live, in which we're going to be using soaps that we will be almost finishing. And also this is hashtag it's been a wild week in which we will I will be using some shave gears that I haven't used in a while. And hey, dude, I am loving the performance of this brush. And of course the looks of it. And I'm gonna be rocking with the Cobra Classic. And man, forgot how beautiful this 
razor is. Anyway, let's go. Let me cook. We have and let's get this first pass. All right. As you know, that first or second pass from me, I already know it's gonna be a good. Sh okay, shave. Oh, great shave. It's gonna be a great shave. So my only complaints on the Cobra Classic is pretty. It's not as grippy sometimes, so I gotta be very careful. Man, mm -mm -mm. I forgot how. Man, I forgot how good this Cobra Classic is. Again, it's a rhodium plated. Now, is it better than the Vector as far as shade? No. The Vector is a lot smoother. At least to me. All right, let's do that second pass. That's the across the grain to my wet shaving brothers and sisters. It is going to be a nice, warm day today here in Beaver, Pensacola, Florida. It's going to be in the mid-70s, man. So I'm super excited about the nice, warm weather that we're having. Usually around this time, it'll be in the 60s as the high. But right now, it's in the mid-70s. So I'm going to be using some of my spring-scented fragrances. And uh, so I've been into fragrances real big since 2020, but I still prefer, still prefer spring and summer scented fragrances. Still, now I love my fall and winter, but if I had to choose, if I had to choose, hey man, give me my spring and summer scented fragrances any day. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let's do a against the grain. That's my favorite pass. That's the money pass. That's the against the grain pass. Comment below your favorite pass. All right. One thing about the Carbon Classic, I still get it. For me, slightly, definitely on the aggressive side. For my shades, I gotta be kind of careful. Gotta, I can't, it's definitely, it's definitely not a daily driver for me. BBS, baby. Anyway, let me wash the face and I'll be doing the 
hashtag the dessert. So the hashtag dessert are the things that I do after a great shave. And that's a cold water rinse to close the pores. And an ice cube rub to close the pores better. It also relieves a freshly fa shaved face or dome. And I'll be doing the hashtag the shape. That's right. I do that before I shake my aftershave splash and put it on. Anyway, let me quit yapping and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, I am back. Now I'm going to be doing the hashtag, the dessert, those things that I do after a great shave. I've already did my cold water rinse to close the pores. Now I'm going to be doing the hashtag, the ice cube rub to, pour, to close the pores even better. Not only does it close the pores even better, it helps reduce irritation on a freshly shaved face or dome. Plus it wakes you up and it feels good. All right. Now I'm gonna dry myself off with the best wet shaving towel on the planet, and that is the Lancaster Razorworks towel. You can find Andre over there on Etsy at Lancaster Razorworks. He'll be doing a drop sometime in February, so follow him on Etsy for a future announcement. Ah. All right, next I'm gonna be doing the hashtag the shake so i do the hashtag the shake so i could receive good luck and it's mandatory before you put on an aftershave splash aftershave splash in my opinion comment below hashtag the shake if you do it because you know i love interacting with you guys all right let me shake it up real good because man i need some good luck i don't know about you but i need all the good luck i can get oh yes sir the roma therapy right now in this room is amazing love lime scented soap scents fragrances all right one thing i hate about a great shade is the end it's done i'm sad however i'm also happy because i look forward to my next shave and you're watching the video right now i want to thank you it means the world guys and gals Hope you guys have a great weekend, a great day, whenever time you're watching this video. And remember, life is tough, but guess what? So are you. Anyway, reporting live from beautiful Northwest Florida, and that's Pensacola, Florida. If you do not know, later YouTube. Wow.